Have you been to this part before? Like, just camping right there? It's all new. I think I'll chill here for a bit. Well, we got a lot of work to do, man. Got my dog. I'm all good. Okay, I'm ready. Welcome to my Olympics. I am here with Gabriel Fells. Say hi, Gabriel. Hello. We're going out for an overnight survival adventure. So, he just spent his first night camping here in the uh, rainforest of the Northwest. And he learned how to gather wood and set up tents and filter water. What else did you learn? How to basically just camp in the wilderness. Just camp in the wilderness? Yeah. You learned how to walk on river rocks, right? Yeah. You learned how to gather wood and categorize it. So, where are you from, Gabriel? Arizona. Where in Arizona? Uh, Peoria. Peoria. And it's more hot there than it is here, so. So where did you sleep last night? In a shelter close to our base camp. Right. That was so is that there. the first time you ever slept out in the woods without a tent? Um, yes. All right. You built your first fire yesterday. Yeah. So it's his first day, first trip. I'm not gonna try to overwhelm him. Um, so I have a few items in my pack that he doesn't know about. He has a, a sleeping bag for tonight. Um, we brought a couple dehydrated meals just in case we don't gather enough food to, to keep having fun. So we're gonna concentrate mainly on fire and shelter on this trip. Um, he's been pretty well trained in gathering wood and putting together uh, the start of a fire using fire starter like you would at a, you know, just camping. And now we're today we're going to spend learning how to build a shelter. You know, we're going to try to choose a location and go through all the things you go through for that. Um, he woke up this morning immediately and his first words were, uh, I want to go home. I don't feel well, but I think he's just getting a little afraid of what we're what we're doing A little anxious First thing I would really like to say is that Uncle Phil has Making a difference on me and making me really want to come out for the wild and teaching me how to do better in life and in the wild. He taught me how to maintain a fire, how to start a fire. He's going to teach me how to make a shelter. Yeah, and I really think he's made a change in my experience in here because I really don't like going camping unless it's like in a trailer or anything. Now he's making me really hate like the trailer and have fun here and and I'm kind of worried for the future because there's a lot of animals out here but I trust him to keep me safe he's strong and he is hard working and he's always there to take care of somebody It took a couple of tries? By a couple, I mean like... This is your second time ever making a campfire, bud. Yeah. You uh, did great. I saw one fish. You know go? what I did? I caught him. No way. No way, look at that. Is he 
dead. Oh, no, he's dead, right? It's like moving for a little bit. Yeah, I hit him in the head. I had to wrestle him on the ground a couple times. All right, come down here. Okay, that is his bunghole, right? Right there. So we're gonna make a little tiny cut. It's hurting me right now. Oh, well, you know, we do have to thank this fish for giving us food. And he's gonna give us even more food because we'll get like, I'll bet you we'll get five to 10 crawdads off of this tonight. Well, it doesn't look pretty big, so we're probably gonna have to cook the other. Well, no, well, let's see how many crawdads we get. Wait, we're hunting tonight? Yeah, you and I are gonna set up crawdad hooks right here, and then we can hang around the fire. I'm gonna take care of the fire. You could go hunting. No, you gotta help us hunt some crawfish. It's fine. I know it's like the heart is like a circle that's like super red. Yeah. Okay, so this knife is really sharp. See, a real good guy would just go right up, but the reason I'm being really careful right on the top here. Kind of because you're cutting towards yourself? Well, yeah. A little bit. I'm trying to cut up. But it's because I don't want to puncture any of his uh, organs. That we need. Well, no, because he's got poop in him, right? Oh, and we And yeah. urine, and we don't want that to go in our food. So see all that? Yeah. We don't want to, we don't want to, we especially don't want to cut that. Why? Because that goes to his poop hole, and that's where all his poop is. And we don't want that poop in our meat. It ruins the, it ruins the food. So pull it out. We will pull it all out here in a second. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do here too. I'm gonna cut his head off right behind the gills here. What's his eye look like inside? Like if you were to take it out? Well, we're gonna take the eyes out because we're gonna eat those. Ew, no. Oh yeah, they're very good for you. Yeah, you go ahead, thanks. <laughs> oh, oh, he's got a tongue. Don't you? No, I mean like, I've never really noticed that and knew that. Get that away from me. Okay, yeah, we're gonna set the eyes aside because they're important. Yeah. Okay, but there's a lot of good meat in there too. Normally, I would just boil all of this up, head and everything, um, without the guts, of course. Yeah. But because it's got such important nutrients, but since I know that we can catch more food with that head, so I'm gonna. Oh, what is that? That's his, all his, it's his heart, lungs, liver, whatever fish have. Me looking at this doesn't want, make me want to have fish anymore. Well, you know, this guy, oh, look at that. What? Those are eggs. Those are, it's a girl? Yeah, it was a pregnant. Oh, so are the eggs dead now? Uh, yeah. Aw. Can't make more baby fish and eat those too? That's a bummer. Can you eat those? Yes, definitely. We're gonna put them over here with the eyeballs. Because those are good. Okay, you eat the fish. You can have some. Wait till you, I'm gonna make it into a stew. I want it where like, you buy it at the store and it looks like. You see, we got all yeah. of that out and without getting any badness on the fish. Okay, so now I'm also gonna cut the tail off because I know we can get some more crawdads with that. And crawdads are really good. You're gonna like them. Oh, it looks like a horror movie. Yeah, well, you know, these fish were par yeah. being part of it, right? So it's not like you just go to the grocery store and get it. We worked for this. You know how hard it was to move it through this stuff in the daylight? Yeah. I'm just asking for a broken ankle if we try to make it out of here tonight. I know you're scared. 
but we'll be fine. We've got Charlie, we've got Chet, they're two badass dogs, and you got me. I'll never let anything happen to you, brother. Nothing. You were in more danger driving here. Didn't it feel like it, though? Yeah, that's true. It's more dangerous to be in a, in a car than it is to be in the woods. So being scared is fine, but you don't want to let it control you. You don't want it to tell you to do things that you don't want to do. Like quit. Or make a bad, bad decision, like trying to hike out of here in the dark. Because I would bet that, you know, you're getting scared and you go, oh my God, I'm just going to get out of here. You can't do that. You've got you to gotta stick with your plan. Charlie's got your back. I've just, I've never done this really before, so. And you're doing it. And you're totally safe. Do I look worried? No, probably because you're like done this before. I've done this a whole bunch. That's why I'm here with you. I would never let anything happen to you, Gabriel. Your grandpa would shoot me. I'd be hanging from his flagpole in Idaho. And he trusts me to have you out here. And Stephanie loves you to death. She would never let you get hurt. And your mom and dad knew exactly what you were doing out here. I gave them the list. Told them everything that we'd be doing. So they trust me. So you just gotta trust me. And you gotta trust yourself. Gabriel is over here. With the puppies. Seems to be sleeping quite a bit. Um, he had a rough day, I was kinda hard on him. Probably harder than I needed to be. But he met every challenge really, really well, so really excited. He, uh, he pulled it through, which is kind of on fire watch, so and there's not much left on the batteries here. Just on fire watch, and gonna wait for the sun to come up soon. Yeah, I'm kind of tired and loopy. Been going all day, and probably will just stay on fire watch tonight. For just myself, I would fall asleep and wake up and feed the fire and run the risk of the shelter not catching on fire, but it's just not me here.